Hey everyone, I'm Smokey. Let's have some fun in Derail Valley. So, it's uh, morning, well, a bit after morning in game. And uh, we're in Harbor in town. Right over here in the southeastern part of the map. And we're here because we need some money. We have 53,000, which is, you know, okay. So, what better place to... Uh, to make some quick bucks, especially when we have the remote control, then in Harbor in Town. Why Harbor in Town? Well, because there are so many jobs available here, so it's quite quite good. Uh, so, if you remember, I'll do a quick recap of what happened last time. So, uh, last episode we got this consist full of. Uh, cars with cars and sometimes I'm not sure if it's always but uh, at least sometimes it's worth a check that uh, when you when you bring a freight hall um, in a station there might be something like this where automatically when you hand in the, the job you get the shunting job what is this shunting job? well this is the unload part a shunting job can be for um unload and store or load then you know prepare or something i don't remember exactly um how it goes but basically this hbsu 29 is the same consist that we brought in from machine factory in town last night early in the morning in game so last episode so we know we have the licenses and it pays fairly well it's um 13,000, almost 14,000, so we'll get like 20,000 with the time bonus. So it's a good idea if there's nothing else that is significantly better, or if you plan, as we're going to be doing today, to stay in, uh, in a station for a bit, it's a good idea to get the job. Since you're already connected, let's check and see if we're, we're still connected. I think we are. So it'll be easier. We don't have to move around and find another locomotive. Are we connected? Yes, we are. And let's just do double check HBSU 29. I'm looking right here on the cars and HBSU 29. All right, so this looks good. Uh, let's start the engine. Let's turn on the lights. Let's turn on the the front and rear lights. Yep, okay. Lights are on. So, let's start the job. Okay, and we've started. So, let's see. Basically, as I remember, we're, we're not going to rush this. This is the first uh, Shanghai job, so we'll we'll get it started, you know, slowly. But one thing we can do already is start moving forward. Oh, okay, we're moving. We're moving, and so we're going to slowly get out of the. Of there now let's see first of all in d4i we need to go to d7l this is i think um in c and d yard are the two the two loading and unloading uh, cranes so we need to go to d7l now d7l is uh this one the furthest to the right so let's just make sure we have everything uh, lined up to go right over there and the one other switch we need to handle is this one so let's speed up a little bit we're already doing 20 so this is fine yeah it's fine And now we're going to coast right until we get to get to this part. And then we'll switch. 
and after we unload let's let's check the job so after we unload in d7l we need to go to g7s and c1s and now the c1 uh, cvt 360 which is this one the first one is in c1 and the rest of the cars are in g7s so it makes sense right now we're in d we should go to g leave uh, almost everything except for the except for the the last car and then uh go to c yard uh breaks off let's give it a second for uh the pressure to stabilize yeah we're already switched so great now we're taking this this track all the way to seven so let's get a vantage point yeah and uh let's wait until the train is here already train is in range to unload so what we do is we unload all the cars train fully unloaded this is perfect okay so the cars are gone now what we need to do is we need to go uh, in g yard first right so let's go forward and start moving now uh, because the 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 train is unloaded it'll be i believe maybe it's just me but i believe it'll be a lot easier to to get to where we need to be so let's jump ahead and we know the first thing we need to um do the first switch is this one so we can go in um in that in g yard as you can see these are all g g20 g30 uh, g2 g3 so let's see where exactly in g7s okay so that's right over here at the end so if since we're here let's make sure we're all lined up this one needs to be towards the right as we're coming in so to the left as we're going out this is to the left awesome so we're pretty much done with this part we just have to wait for the train we're going to be going backwards into g and let's keep it maybe i don't know under 20 and let's follow the let's follow the train actually let's get a, a a nice vantage point on top of this building i don't know if it is this weird but i love doing this you know standing with the remote on top of uh, on top of buildings maybe this is kind of like is something like a, a power trip <laughs> or something that, you know i'm i'm above looking at everything and making sure everything is going well Okay, so I wasn't paying attention and we got to 30, but this is fine. We'll just uh, put on the train brake and we'll wait. Basically, the cars need to be past the, that point, so we're almost done yeah we're good okay let's put on some independent brake oh and one thing we can do let's cup let's uh decouple it from here so let's stop right now let's prepare to go forward and let me see if I remember correctly. So basically, the coupling and uncoupling on the remote control 
the mm, minus one here means that we'll uncouple the first one after the after the remote uh, after the locomotive i'm sorry so basically the idea is if we put a negative two here we should uncouple the everything after the first car so it's basically after the first one to one being the the locomotive and two being the first car basically if you, if we had two locomotives in the front and we wanted to decouple everything but the last car we would have probably a minus three here so let's see let's watch over there it's now coupled we hit uncouple and it's uncoupled perfect okay so this is great now what we can do is go forward and let's see where do we need to go with this one g7 and c1 s as being from from shunting and the car is cvt 360 so let's um let's double check that the car this is actually the correct car but until then what we'll do is oh yeah oh i did not know that the train brake automatically uh, the the handbrake on the cars is automatically put when you use the uncoupling fa function on the remote and yeah this is okay okay let's uh stop because we're we're doing quite a bit of speed and we need to go to sea yard right so sea yard is that one over here oh come on i didn't want it touching it's fine don't worry about it <laughs> okay let's uncouple let's uh oh yeah exactly so uh the handbrake is uh switched automatically that's fine we're uncoupled correct yep so we can leave the loco right here and uh, let's go and turn in the turn in the job and get paid so we go to this one validate the order and it's completed let's put it right here 20,791 so right now we're at 72,000 which is awesome and no no damage no nothing so this is uh this is perfectly fine now the other thing we which we can do is um have a look in all these jobs and see if something is oh this is a nice uh, logistical haul to machine factory in town for twenty thousand, but yeah let's see if um if there are any more shunting jobs available so i had to look through uh, through the jobs and uh, i left the uh, harbor in town and came back so um we get some some new jobs and we got lucky with quite a few shunting jobs now let's go uh let's go through the process and see what we can do so we have uh this option three pickups we're making one and uh it's for steel uh, to steel mill the thing is the train mass is 406 tons now i think on flat ter terrain like um it is here in uh, harbor and town i think the de2 can or might be able to pull this um 406 tons i'm not 100 percent sure but i think so this might be one option now um there is another good one that came from food factory in town for seventeen thousand. 
300 tons, but this requires Hazmat 1 license. Now, Hazmat 1 license is um, a really good one. It opens up some uh, quite lucrative jobs, as you can see this one as well. And let's see what that would entail. So we go to licenses. It's like 40,000, right? Yeah, Hazmat 1. We'll select it and uh, print. So yeah, this is the thing. If, if we got the, the Hazmat 1 license, our insurance copay would be would go up by 38,000. So that means right now our insurance copay is 2,000, which is awesome. If we got this, it'll jump up to 40,000 and that'll be quite a bit. We'll, we'll probably need to get the the manual license uh, the manual service license as well uh in order to not pay you know to, to keep the cost down because right now we can have 20 grand worth of costs but since our uh, copay is only 2000 it doesn't really matter so hazmat one will definitely get this one but and we might, it might be a good idea to get it right now. The other thing, which is another, is another great uh, license, is this one, the long two license. And uh, in this case, it's three drop offs to unload and store tractors, but it pays 24,000. So this is awesome. This is such a good, uh, such a good value. And long two, we already have long one, I think. And long two is definitely uh, one of the one of the licenses we need to get. So let's uh, let's start by buying the. How much money do we have? Seventy two. So we can basically spurge on. Um, on a couple of licenses. We could get both train length and hazmat. Or we can get a logistical haul, which might be might be good. And concurrent orders one, so we can take two orders at the same time, which is also great. So you know what? We'll take a train length. Concurrent one, and uh, let's go for logistical haul. So what we did is uh, we got three licenses. The concurrent orders one, which raises the copay by four grand, which is not a problem. The train length two, which raises the copay by 10,000. And the hazmat one license. So uh, basically, our copay right now is what fifty-four thousand, something like that. It's basically through the roof. But <laughs> and we have one hundred eighty-five dollars. So uh, yeah, this is we need to make this work. First of all, let's uh, find this uh, this job. This uh, consists. We're looking for trains. Uh, for uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> we're looking for tractors. So let's look. Oh right, this is an um, e yard. We have some tractors here. So let's see if this is what we need. HB SU fifteen. HBSU15, perfect. So this is what we need. And let's check the last one. Just so we don't have any surprises that it's a different uh, a different job. HBSU15, perfect. So yeah, this is basically where we need to where we need to be. So let's do the usual prep work and line the line everything up so once we once we leave c 
yard will go straight in and uh, pull everything. Perfect. So let's go to our locomotive. Okay. You see, I uh, restarted the, the, the game and uh, yeah, this happened. <laughs> Basically, our locomotive is stuck between a bunch of consists, but uh, a bunch of cars, but it doesn't matter. We'll, we'll make, uh, we'll make this okay. Nice. Okay, so we're basically coupled right now. This is the correct train. So let's go and quickly, quickly, quickly get to the job and uh, start it. Oh, do we have it already? Yeah, okay. So we're all set up. Let's start the job. Now, uh, before we check everything, we can go right over here. Yep. Let's make sure uh, everything is set. And let's start moving. Let's make sure that all the handbrakes are untied. Yep. Yep, and yeah, perfect. So let's go in the loco. As some of you might have noticed, we are going backwards, but I think it'll be okay. We have to keep an eye on the temperature, but uh, we're not going to be doing that much pulling, so we'll be fine. Yeah, no issues. Okay, so we're pulling into D7L. And one thing, since we're coasting, one thing to check is uh, the numbers. So this is 499, the first one. This is 922. Oh, wait. Uh, hang on. Yeah, let's uh, stop the train. Because this is a long one and we need to make sure we have... Uh, we don't overshoot or something. So, let's unload. And then we have to check, so 499, I think, was the, was the first car. So let's see. Let's check the job. 499, okay. So 499 is the one in the back, so the back needs to go to G1S. Now, the second one in G6S, how many in G1S? There are seven. So the, the eighth one would be great if it was this. So it's 499. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I think this one, right? One, two, nine. Let's, uh, let's check. No. This one, 924, which is perfect. So the first, uh, the ones in the back will go to G1S, then we'll go to G6S, and D1S should be the third one. So either, no, actually, let's just, let's just check <laughs> and see what. So 026. And the third one should be eight to nine. Perfect. So everything is uh, settled. We know what we have to do. So let's 
start moving. Actually, let's wait a bit until the pressure is where it should be. We can turn on, on the wipers as well. Okay. And now we can start. Okay, we're making our way, making our way uh, into G1S, and we need to drop. Uh, we're already lined up for uh, G1S, so we need to drop off seven. So let's count: one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So this is where we need to we need to uncouple the the cars which is just perfect oh my god oh my god oh my god there's something on the on the track oh damn it let's see are we in on the correct track g1s yep so this can happen and <laughs> this is why it's it's a very good idea to constantly be looking at what's on the track i don't know how how does it look when we're playing at night time i try to you know make it so it's uh, it can be seen on youtube but uh, i know youtube is not something to do with compression and everything is not very is not a very good place to watch um really dark videos so uh yeah let me know what what you think if it's um if you can see a decently enough or not because i can i can probably make it so that we're only uh playing during the daytime that shouldn't be a problem okay so we're basically we're basically done Yep. Let's uh, stop. Let's decouple. Did we decouple the right one? Yep. Okay, so basically, we should be done. Now, I'm just hoping that there isn't. This is the moment of truth. I'm just hoping that we didn't mess up something. Oh, awesome. So we got 36,200, 36, which makes our grand total 36,400. So, yeah, this was very important. <laughs> but yeah, it was really, it was really a, a good, a good job. And it took some time, but it was, I think it was, uh, it was worth the, worth the, the wait, right? All right. So I think this was a very packed episode where we did quite a bit of stuff and uh, we got some money. We're not totally broke. So uh, yeah, next time I, I'm probably going to do another, a couple of shunting jobs offline and um, next time we'll definitely look at uh, buying uh, a new locomotive. So again, l just like I uh, mentioned in the, in the previous video, if you have any, um, any ideas or any suggestions on which one to get the DM3 or the DH4, please mention it in the comment and uh, I'll definitely have a look uh, before recording the next episode. So. So I hope you guys enjoyed the, the episode and I'll see you next time. Soon, soon. <laughs> Bye.